This is the Goman British News, presenting the truth to the free peoples of the world. Airborne troops are likely to play an important part in future land operations. We have learnt a big lesson since the far-off days of Crete, and that is why the training of glider pilots has been expanded. New schools for all stages of instruction have been set up in various parts of the country. Now let us go aloft with our cameraman to watch how they set about training pilots to become glider miners. Every soldier pilot is a volunteer, and they have been drawn from almost every unit of the army. After learning all about the theory, the pilot has to pass through flying instruction in light aircraft at an RAF school. Those who imagine gliding as a gentle, unexciting sport will be quickly disillusioned when they watch the strenuous training here. Throughout the day, gliders are coupled up to towing aircraft by strong cables and dragged off the ground by obsolete fighter aircraft. Then they are hauled high into the air and eventually released to make their own way home. During this stage, the pilots fly in the smallest type of operational glider. It's a job that calls for careful handling and delicate precision. The pilot must be able to judge the correct time to slip his tow rope. He must know how to land in restricted places. He must also know a number of other things in preparation for the day when he will carry highly trained men into battle. There's a thrill in the actual flight, and there's a thrill in watching it. It's a picture of great beauty as these graceful gliders make their way through the fleecy cumulus clouds, like a solemn winging of silent birds of prey. Gliding is perfect training for mastery of the air, and it is good to know that there is no shortage of volunteers. 